So, anyway, my friend was just showing me an awesome dramatic reading of the manga. Uh, we would definitely not like to mulligan. And they chose to play last. Yeah, that's sweet. No, we would not. And we're just gonna, you know, come out running with our, uh... That's my upkeep. I should really get rid of this stop. It keeps confusing me. Anyway, we're just gonna come out running with our good old turn four bell tower sphinx. Don't stop on that turn. Oh, look at that. We are actually really good at this game. Just, you know, ripping, ripping the nut perfect every turn. What, what will he possibly do? Okay, maybe he's rug as well. Yep. We're off to the races here. So, could he be black, green... Black, blue, and no, that doesn't work at all. Turns out, <laughs> it turns out two guilds in the first set are just absolutely terrible if you want to draft this format at all. So, yeah. What has he got here? Awesome, no doubt. Uh, Enigma Eidolon. Okay. So, let's just get this thing out there. And we'll see what it does. I'm snap blocking. Yes, I have a double wild. This thing is basically impossible to get through. Uh, what does he have? Is it signet? All right, so it's the full every single color, like I want it to be. And ocular halo. So let's figure out how to do this. So one, two. Pay that. I go halo up my guy. He could kill it in response, which would be unfortunate. Void slime. Alright. That is fine by me. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Probably should have thought about that since we shipped that void slime right along. Yeah, we're just going to get in there. If he, I mean, he's going to have to, if he wants to beat us, he's going to have to play some more creatures. And we've got Savage Twister to make that a very poor proposition. Also, we can just, you know, well, we probably shouldn't F3 with Peel from Reality in our hand. I always have something sweet, no doubt. Petra Hydox, sure. So, we'll see what we draw. If we don't draw anything good, we'll uh, probably just twist her for three. Yeah, or we could just start sitting back at that point. Yeah, I like sitting back back there and having him commit one more creature to the board. Unless he commits a creature right here. Okay, <laughs> well now we're definitely doing it for three. Uh, yes, that's Twister, that much, X equals two, uh, three. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we mill three cards, but we also, three for one him, sure. Let's mill three lands, uh, uh that, was, that was unfortunate, whatever. Um, we've still got Riot Spikes and Assault Zeppelin, I mean, no one of his cards is a land. So we're in pretty good shape, I'd say. So ne yeah, next turn we just play this assault sublet and leave up peel from reality. Oh, he has nothing. Uh, so yeah, let's just start businessing him, as they say. So assault sublet, uh, Yeah, let's leave up our own void slime. What do we do? Oh, <laughs> we can't leave up our own void slime, unfortunately. Oh well. Maybe he'll play a creature. What's he got? Over Great Crusher? Sure. Let's 
so ooh, that was a good one. At this point, I'm actually just gonna riot spikes with Bell Tower Sphinx. Start 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 laying the beats. Yeah, let's put them on a two turn clock this way. And we've got Shroud for the Froggy up. So yeah, this should end up being pretty good. We can't, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Alright, so, uh, Enigma Eidolon seems poor. What, what did he have that we care about? Do we have any Defender creatures? I don't think so. Uh, this Riot Spike seems pretty bad. We should actually just bring in the Smash, because we saw two Signets, and I think he used them to fix his mana, but I actually just forget. Did he only play green and... Or he played the Siana, Silhana Ledgewalker. So yeah, I, I like smashing here instead of Riot Spikes, because we can't even attack, yeah, enchant the Ledgewalker. And this, you know, destroys an artifact and draws a card. So, we'll go with this and see what happens. Correctly choosing to play first. Yeah, and sweet. I could I couldn't possibly see mulliganing this. You're going to kill his turn two signet and it'll be so sad. Alright, we need to just draw two lands off the top. And we need to play turn two signet, otherwise his hand is so much worse. Hmm. That, that was a lot worse. Uh, yeah, I don't think we run it out there. Oh man. How badly do I want to get value? Yeah, no. Value is the way we go here. But what if he just plays a guy? <laughs> signet, signet, signet. Shit. There's not a signet. He did out. He did just play a guy. I'd like to point that out. Uh, yeah. Shift, <laughs> shift the turn right back. Uh, I think he has a forest still in hand. Or an island. I forget what it was. He has a land in hand. It's the important thing here. Yep, we're just taking it. And we really need an island here. And we need him to play a goddamn signet. Or actually just any artifact will do. Signet? No, of course not. Playing a good card instead. He's probably gonna graft onto it, yeah. Um uh, yeah. Let's let's get it. That's, that's pretty bad value. I don't know if you're, man, this is pretty bad. Um, yeah, let's get Ten Street Hooligan down. Uh, this is not working out the way I wanted it to. I am if it would be for us to draw an island and him to have played a segment. Now he's going to play like three segments. Segment, segment. Yeah, you can just play three of them. What are you going to do? I don't think that hand was loose at all. We have, what, eight blue sources? Seven? Yeah, we have eight blue sources in our deck. Or something. Seven. Who cares? We draw one of them. Yeah. What What did I say? Uh, anyway. Man, this guy's deck is sweet. And by sweet, I mean, I think it's pretty... Eh, it's pretty good. Man, really wish we had that compulsive research instead of bright flame. Did he just? Oh no, he just discarded the. Oh no, he discarded two cards. Good old misclick. Yes, two A's. You really had to. You really had to correct that. You needed to click OK after discarding. First one, because we can legally discard two lands and we need you to tell what you want to do. Anyway, so hopefully draw blue, and we did. So. I mean, we're just going to run out this Assault Zeppelin and block 
this is, of course, one of those awkward misclicks that can only happen on Moto. But, that's what happens. We are, of course, snap blocking. This actually interacts pretty well. So we drew a land for the turn. Uh, I mean, he's got to have some sort of trick. There's no way you'd make this attack if you don't. Yep. Flying and first strike. Yep. Uh, yeah. I mean, nothing I can really do about that. What are our removal options left? Yeah, I don't know. The things are not looking good for us. Despite him uh, discarding an extra card. Another signet is fine. So next turn, ideally, we can. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're just going to attack with our Tensory Jewel again. Um, so the options now are Blood Scale. Or in Mauler draw a card, and I'm gonna go with Mauler draw a card because I definitely need to hit another land drop, and I just, I just need something. I got to deal with the snapping drake somehow. Like amongst our best options are, well, if we draw a mountain next or a land next turn that works. It's a little unfortunate, <laughs> but uh, you do what you got to do. Does he have his own pyromantics? Uh, Psychotic Fury, sure. Uh, yeah, things are not looking too good. Yep, down to ten. Uh, I mean, I, I can't imagine that he bricked on this many draw steps. Actually, a uh, peel from reality would be sweet. Peel from reality would actually be the best draw. What has he got here? This cannot be good. Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. That is awesome. It's not every day you find out your opponent's playing Crystal Seer. card is, like I said, it's really expensive for a 2-2, and damage doesn't stack anymore, where this card might have had some application. Uh, we're still very much behind. We need to draw a land. Or peel from reality, which, as I previously stated, would be the best draw. So we drew the land. I mean, yeah, we're just going to do that. Um, at this point, I'm just going to trade off the Tinsery Hill again. Okay, apparently he doesn't want to trade. So let's go Seal of Fire. Steam for weird. See what he has to say about that. Yep, so we're going to hit that. And then we're going to hit that. So. There's a one for one. It's un I mean, kinda. It's really unfortunate that we have to waste our Steam for weird like that. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So yeah, next round I'll probably just send with the team. And then I would go with uh, the blood scale. Assuming we hit, of course. Yep, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next turn he'll be able to do both. What does he got? Repeal. Okay. That is fine by me. And what does he got now? Snapping attacker? Uh, something better than that, apparently. <laughs> I 
Ooh, is it Cronark? Returning repeal. That is value. Or compulsive research. That is value. Yeah, it's got to be compulsive research. Because uh, return and repeal. Like, um, both my guys are just value. Leap of flame. Interesting. Ooh, that was pretty good. So we're going to fly to fancy this guy. Uh, yeah. Let's see what we draw. Beautiful. So now we will declare some attackers. Eh. <laughs> I guess we could have tapped our mana better. But I guess we didn't know whether we were going to draw. I mean, we knew mountain was more likely. Uh, not necessarily true, considering that we have two mountains in play on one place. Obviously, the, the ideal turn there ends with us uh, playing this Scav Clan Mauler. So anyways, you can hit me for one, two, three. So we can hit me for five now. It's not very good, but uh, it's just something he can do. Alternately, he could ambush my 10th Street Hooligan. I'm really surprised he returned the flame. He must have some sort of burn spell. That's the only thing I can think of. Yep. Or does he have another Psychotic Fury in hand? That would be interesting. I don't think it would be very good. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he does six to us. He must have. Uh, I mean, Cackling Flames is the last card. Does it? I mean, there's a lot of things he could have. Yeah. Just think I can do about this. What does he got? Uh, that. Is your motivate? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, he's got it. I mean, we'll, we'll just let him get through it. I'll make sure. 7, 8, 9, 10. And in fact, our life total. So, yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, do we want anything for that? I mean, I don't think we can... So... No, none of his guys have one toughness still. Uh, Enigma Eidolon seems pretty bad. So, yeah. We'll just keep it as is. Um, keep that in mind. Schizo motivates. Yeah, schizo motivate is pretty sweet. What can we do against that? I mean, I think we have a good number of flyers. Yeah, our, our draw was, I'd say, fairly mediocre that game. By that I mean, we, we had a bunch of sweet cards. We didn't get the mana on time. It's possible that draw was to keep us loose. But with him having two signets, Maybe he has three signets. He played... Yeah, he has three signets. So, I don't think that draw was actually that... Or that keep was bad. Because there, there were a lot of situations in which we just kill his turn two signet. And then give him the business with our... <coughs> Sky Clan Mauler. I'd like to play first. We would not like to mulligan. Yeah, his hand's pretty sweet, I would say. We're going to have to turn to Sky Plan Mauler. Pretty good. Uh, so we add red, add green, Sky Plan Mauler. Is it Boilerworks? Alright. It's a fairly aggressive start, I'd say. We've got Galvanic Arc for any creatures he plays. Smash! One time dealer? No. We, we actually, unfortunately, we are again missing a color of mana. Maybe that Sky Clan Mauler was a little hasty. We have repeal. No, compulsive research. Let's see if he does it correctly this time. No, he's discarding two cards. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be embarrassed we lose to this this player's deck. Uh, it's obviously something that can happen, but 
I will be slightly embarrassed. I'm just going to keep businessing instead of drawing cards. If he plays something that like I need to block, then I'll stop. But he's pretty low on life already. Like next turn, we're just going to galvanic arc and get in there for three more. Good thing that's actually three damage. I actually had forgotten how much it did. It'd be pretty awkward if it was only two. Then I hopefully play some terrible guy with two toughness. Mm, not quite. Uh, so yeah, we just get in there still because we can pyromantics it for one. Yeah, this is not gonna work out for him. Zero. Paramatrix for one, and yeah, that is dead. Uh, we just really need to draw another land. And we could have pyromantics it for two and gotten in for one more. That might have been better. Sure, healing squirt is fine. He hasn't really stabilized. I mean, definitely not blocking here. Ooh, that was, that was a good draw. In that we get to play our own healing squirter and then just start cutting them for a lot. Would you like to graft? Yes? No. Oh man. How unfortunate. This should be pretty good. Unless you know. I mean he could have to play a lot of things. A lot of Ogre Gate Crasher. It's fine. Uh, he could add one to it. No. Yes, I assume. Yeah, it's fine. We're just going to hit him for a, a lot in the air. Like, you know, six. Uh, void Slime is whatever. So, so we're going to give this, oh, uh, see what he did there, so can we do anything about that, uh, yes we can, so do we want to play, so let's think, so he's going to block, and then we're going to appeal from reality both of our cards, is that good enough? No, I think I'm actually just going to ocular hair lock helium squirter. Yeah, that, that was a little... That was, that was a momentary lapse in judgment. I forgot his helium squirter work too. So, we'll just pass the turn until we get the ability to add another plus one plus one counter to him. Or deal some damage. But we've got, I think we've got plenty of ways to get through this gate crasher. Unfortunately, Peel from Reality is not very good right now, in that it gets rid of an Ocular Healer or Galvanic Arc. But we'll see what happens. Ooh, our opponent also has an Ocular Halo. Ooh, that's, that's good. Our opponent has cleverly left up. Uh, let's draw a card now. See what we get. Hmm. Our opponent has cleverly left up Void Slime. Uh, we're not under any pressure, so I'm actually just going to train a thought twice. We just need to hit a land drop. Is what I'm looking for here. Nope. Yes. Okay, that was good. So, yeah, that's good enough for now. Yeah, our opponent can draw a card. Uh, so what am I looking for? One, two, three, four. I'm looking for an island. If I can get an island, then we can uh, steam core weird with void slime up. That is not an island. 
So, what do we do? What do we do? We, ooh, plan. So we put Plaxcaster Frogling. Would we like to graft? Of course we would. He would not like to craft, I assume. He's on the no plan. Yes. Um, so what else do we do? We can actually just play this Burning Tree Blood Scale. Actually, that, that's fine. And we'll, we'll just double graft onto that. He'll be mostly dead if this resolves. If we could just make it so his guys can't block it. I like to graft, yes. I like to graft. Yes. Alright. That was pretty good. So if we can untap, uh, what does he have black for? Probably has some pretty good black card, like a Wrecking Ball. But if we can untap, we're in basic, we're in a very good position. Yeah, it's fine. Savage Twister for three is not looking, or four. Mm. Oh yeah. Uh, no. No. Would he? Yes. Okay. So what do we get here? Hmm. Flash inscription is pretty good. So we can leave up that. Hmm. Let's just flight of fancy. Our burning tree blood scale. Is that even right? Yeah. Did I play a land? That would be pretty awkward if I played a land. Uh, I think I did. That's unfortunate. We'll play the Seal of Fire. Um, yeah. And then we'll ship the turn. We can end step. Kill his Helium Squirtered guy. Yep. And then we'll have Plaque Manta up. As well as the ability to give, you know, a uh, sky plan while they're flying, I guess. And if we can kill that, uh, flash conscription is we dragon nut. And then one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Give two of our guys flying and kill him. Maybe we sh now nah, we shouldn't have attacked with the burning tree blood scale. He just trades with ogre, ogre gate crash, just trades for it. Unfortunately, we can't give his guys shroud, which would be pretty sweet. I mean, we can, but uh, it's not very relevant right now with, you know, what he's played. So let's see what he does. Three. Four. Playing a land last turn was pretty awkward. I'd rather much I'd much rather have. What does that get back? Get back to compulsive research. Uh yeah. It's fine. So we put that shit on the stack. Gets back compulsive research. Yeah. Ooh. No. That compulsive research and if he graphs, he's dead. Okay. I don't think we dragon off is gonna twenty us this turn. You could have psychotic fury. So I'm just gonna leave up this uh, appeal from reality. Uh, we would peel. Oh, we can just actually just give it Shroud. Yeah, 
he basically can't do anything. Yeah, so I think that's what we would end up doing. Say so yeah, compulsive researches. He can hit psychotic fury. Then we can just give his guy shroud. Seems good. And then end of turn, seal of fire, helium squirter. Let's see if he does it right this time. He does. Uh, yeah. That would do 12 to me. That's pretty close. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Square attackers. No. Okay, so end step. We kill that. <laughs> draw. So we'll draw a card with this. This island, give uh, ten street to or give this guy flying. Give that guy flying. Give Plax Gaster Frogling flying, flying, flying. There. Then we'll peel from reality. Now we shouldn't have a blue man to do that. Okay, well he just scoops. Yeah, we're gonna peel those guys and then kill him. So, guaranteed two packs. So, I'll see you for the next round.